Lisa also got an award that day. We were so happy to be there for her and a day of celebration. Hello, amazing K-pop viewers. Before diving into the latest exciting updates on Blackpink, let's clear up some recent rumors surrounding Jennie and Bam Bam's unexpected meeting in Los Angeles. On September 18th, fans spotted Jennie dining at the famous Sushi Park restaurant along with her manager Allison and choreographer Silver Gun. Sushi Park is known as LA's most discreet celebrity hangout, making it no surprise that Jennie was seen here. However, things took an interesting turn when paparazzi captured photos of Bam Bam joining them, sparking a whirlwind of speculation. Some fans have speculated that this meeting might be connected to Jenny's upcoming solo. Given Bam Bam's role as the host of his popular YouTube show, Bam House. Others, in typical fashion, started wild rumors about a possible romantic connection between the two idols. But let's set the record straight. This encounter was purely coincidental. Bam Bam, along with his team, has been in California for the past week. The GOT7 member recently delivered a memorable performance at the Crazy Super Concert at Long Beach Arena. Following the concert, Bam Bam and his crew stayed at a Blue Jay Modern Villa in Beverly Hills. About a 55 minute drive from the arena, it's highly likely that Bam Bam was celebrating his show at Sushi Park, coincidentally crossing paths with Jenny, who was dining with Allison and Silver Gun. Since Silver Gun left the restaurant with Jenny, it's clear they were together, suggesting Jenny might be in LA filming the music video for her pre release single. Meanwhile, Jenny surprised fans further that day by launching a countdown on her official website. The overwhelming traffic from excited fans caused the site to crash. At 8 a.m. KST on September 19th, when the countdown ended, Fans were left puzzled as there was no comeback announcement. Instead, they were greeted with a membership sign-up form. After registering, fans could listen to a short voice message from Jenny saying, Hi, Rubies. It's Jenny. Stay tuned and see you soon. Interestingly, Jenny added the word Rubies to the URL of her website, leading fans to speculate that she had just announced her official fandom name. Ruby derives from the Latin word ruber, meaning red, symbolizing love, power, and protection. However, this name coincides with the fandom name of solo artist Kwan Un. Be. To clarify, Jenny's label, OA, swiftly addressed the rumors on Naver, stating, the term was randomly used to refer to the fans on a one-time basis, and this does not mean that it is Jenny's official fan club name. Regardless of the small confusion, Jenny's comeback is clearly around the corner, but amid the excitement for her new music, the main rapper of Blackpink was met with an unexpected betrayal from a group of blinks. Recently, Jenny's fans expressed outrage over Blackpink Charts, a fan account with over 500,000 followers. The account tweeted a comment that deeply upset Jenny's fan base. Although the tweet was quickly deleted and the account blocked many of Jenny's supporters, it is clear that their hatred towards Jenny is evident. This is not the first time. Back in 2018, when Jenny's solo debut was announced, Black Pink Charts even spearheaded a petition instead of showing their support. What do you think about their hypocrisy? Meanwhile, Jenny's youngest sister, Lisa, has also indirectly addressed some of the criticisms aimed at her. In a recent interview with Vogue Korea, Lisa revealed that she had acted out a script from The White Lotus and sent an audition video. She also shared that she cried when she received the casting news. Lisa also mentioned that her tanned skin in the rock star jacket photo was natural, achieved while filming The White Lotus in Thailand. This revelation seemingly hit back at the previous blackfishing accusations directed at her. Meanwhile, Lisa is currently in Los Angeles, preparing for her upcoming performance at the Global Citizen Festival and the release of her third single. However, recent reports from Taiwanese media have stirred excitement. Several outlets have shared insider rumors suggesting that Lisa may have a solo debut concert at the Kaohsiung Dome in Taiwan this November. This has led many to speculate that Lisa could kick off her first solo world tour later this year. However, this rumor seems unlikely, as Lisa has not yet released a full-length solo album. What do you think about these speculations? Could a solo world tour be on the horizon for Lisa, or is it simply one show?